How do I look? <laughs> Could you be more specific? <laughs> Can you tell I'm perspiring a little? No. The dark crescent shaped patterns under your arms conceal it nicely. <laughs> what time is your date? 630. Perfect. That gives you two hours and 15 minutes for that dense molecular cloud of Aramis to dissipate. <laughs> Is it too much? Not if you're a rugby team. By the way, if it should ever come up, you didn't join us because you stuffed yourself with a chicken carbonara sub at Quiznos. Why would I join you? No reason. <laughs> oh, you know what? Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Oh, no, no, no. Well, now, there's always the possibility that alcohol and poor judgment on her part might lead to a nice romantic evening. <laughs> You're right. Alcohol, poor judgment. It could go well. Of course, there's the other possibility that this date kicks off a rather unpleasant six months of the two of you passing awkwardly in the hall until one of you breaks down and moves to another zip code. You could have stopped it. It could go well. If I could have, I would have. I mean, I'm a perfectly nice guy. There's no reason we couldn't go to the restaurant and have a lovely dinner. Maybe take a walk afterwards. Talk about things we have in common. You, you love pottery? I love pottery. You know, there's a pause. We both know what's happening. I lean in, we kiss. It's a little tentative at first, but then I realize she's kissing me back. You know, she's biting my lower lip. You know, she wants me. This thing is going the distance. We're gonna have sex. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Is the sex starting now? I'm having a panic attack. Oh, okay. Uh, well, then, you, you, you calm down. I, I, if I could calm down, I wouldn't be having a panic attack. That's why they got a panic attack. All right, all right. Uh, would you just, just uh, sit down? Yeah, sit down. Uh, now, uh, close your eyes. Why? Just do it. Okay. Now, uh, try to increase your alpha wave activity. What? It's a biofeedback technique. It's relaxation through brainwave manipulation. <sighs> I read a paper about it in Journal of American Neuroscience. It was a little sparsely sourced, but I think the basic science is valid. I probably have it here somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I can't go through with this. You, you need to call her and cancel. I do, to me? Yes. What should I tell her? I don't know. Tell her I'm sick. Okay. Not the kind of illness that will make her want to come over and take care of me, but, but, but nothing so critical that she'll feel uncomfortable going out with me in the future if I want to try this again. Got it. So I'm assuming nothing venereal. I'll just tell her that you uh, had a routine colonoscopy and haven't quite bounced back. Just... Give me the phone. I, I thought you wanted to cancel. I can't because if I don't show up, she'll still be expecting you. Why would she be expecting me? Stop asking me all these questions. I need to take another shower. 